come back. Hello everyone, Tittle Thomas Man here, and today we're back with another video in the Hardcore Survival Series. How's everybody doing today? So, good news, since the last episode I covered it in yesterday's video, if you did not watch that, go watch it. It was a good video. Episode 25 of the Amplified Survival Series. Also, world download, so if you want to get your hands on that world, definitely go check it out. And uh, another thing has happened. Opt since Optifine, I've switched texture packs to Whip's uh, vanilla tweaks ish thing. And also, Minecraft Cape mod is back. We get the Codhead Cape, even though we don't have the Codhead skin. And like I've said many times before, that's how we are going to keep the Codhead alive. So, after the last episode, I just wanted to get working in this world some more. So. Don't mind that this part of the roof's missing, I'll get to that in a second. I added these buttons. Oh, that's a trap door, not a door. And then I also added an interior in. We got a cobbled deep slate floor, and then we got a bit of a raised up section. Still gotta work on getting some more chests in here. But we've also got our lovely bed in here that helps us sleep the night away. We've also got a spare bed, which I'm gonna put on my hot bar just in case. And that's what helps us uh, survive, I guess you could say. You know what, I think I'm going to change that soon. I don't know, though. So, it's about night. I'll... Uh, well, yeah, let's sleep first. So, as I said, I took off this part of my roof. The reason why? It is sitting out here. And look, one is fully oxidized. That is the color that the entire roof will be soon. So, basically, what I've done is I have taken taking the roof apart bit by bit and if you space all copper blocks out by like four i think it's four they oxidize quicker which i did not know until pixel riffs another youtuber he's much bigger than i am and better so why am i shouting him out i don't know but pix i was watching a pixel riffs live stream oh Oh, I thought that was fully oxidized and he said when you place these blocks like four out they oxidize quicker and I didn't know that so if we want to get this completely oxidized as soon as possible ooh, I'm gonna get rid of that and then we get both if we want to, uh, this to oxidize as soon as possible this is our best bet I think so I don't want to take the entire roof down but I think we'll actually take down this other section as well and then we'll work on the other parts I just want to have a roof that's why we have the spruce because number one I didn't get enough copper in the montage last episode to finish this roof and number two I still want it to look Japanese while we're trying to oxidize it all and I also added buttons to the top so this this building it's except for just a few copper blocks actually yeah it's only like four copper blocks on this entire building that are not spawn proof so that's amazing, I think. So every other block in this uh, on this house, it's com like completely spawn proof, which means no creepers or anything can spawn up on it and sneak up on me. There's gonna be a lot of buttons and trap doors and slabs in this series. I'm telling you. All right, I think that won't work because it's next to here. So we just need to do them like this. Is this? weird that I'm trying to completely oxidize copper even though Minecraft has not intended it to be like that. They want it to uh, feel like you're oxidizing it over state, like it ages like it does in the real life. But you know what? I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because I want my um, blue, green, tealish, light aqua green I don't know what you call that color of fully oxidized copper but the reason why we're building this out of copper number one 1.17 number two because I want that color and that's the best copper's the best way to get it without having to go to the nether or t tackling a guardian farm okay so today we're gonna need to start by uh, planting some wheat and then bone mealing a bit so we can get some ooh bees 
Well, anyway, we want to get some uh, animals. And the reason for that is I'm running out of pork chops. I've had to go ki kill a few pigs. It sounds bad, but I've had to go kill a few pigs every once in a while just to get some uh, food, you know? And uh, I don't want to do that anymore, so I don't want to completely murder a kind of animal. So I think crops are, well, wheat, number one. We want to start growing some wheat so we can get some food. But number two, I want to lure some cows and sheep in. I think those would be a good option. But we're going to have to build some pens for those first. But you say? What am I saying? Just, yeah, I'm in that mood today. And the more we work in this area, the more this copper oxidizes. And I'm, I just want this roof to be bluish, greenish, something. Let me know what color co fully oxidized copper is in the chat. Or, oh, I'm thinking about live streaming, okay? In the comments, tell me. So, now, for the, um, we haven't used a lot of cobblestone. And considering this is early game, I'm very surprised at that. But I kind of want to use a bit of cobblestone for this wall. And I want it all to be spawn proof. So we're going to have to use stairs and slabs and walls and just about anything you can think of that spawn proof. So for this, I kind of just want to start throwing them around. And we'll do like some Japanese inspired architecture type gate things. I don't know what you would call it. You'll, you'll see what I mean later. Now, actually, because to save myself a bit of trouble, we're going to use the water bucket trick to where we just, uh, it's not really a trick, but you just put a water bucket down so you can get rid of all the grass and stuff in an area. It's pretty handy. Okay, so, let's, uh, start out with, like, a sheet. Maybe let's do cows. So, right here, I'm going to put a cobblestone wall down for where I want the entrance to be. Right? Right. And then now we kind of just make a pin, sort of. Maybe go up a bit here and there. And yeah, I think this shape looks pretty good. Let's uh, raise this up for, you know, to make it, I don't know what you call it. Words are hard, everybody. Words are hard. And then maybe we add, like, uh, you know, bits that are higher than the rest, you know? Just to add a bit of variation to it. But we won't have too many of those, I don't think. Because this ain't a castle. And I don't plan on building a castle anytime soon in this world. My goal in this world, stay alive. That's that's my goal. I'm going to be very honest. That's the, really the only goal I have right now for this world. It didn't, it's a hard goal, to be honest, though, considering this is me we're talking about. And then, like, in some spots right here, we may need to add more. I think that'll work. So now, uh, yeah, I mean, this looks pretty cool. I think we'll just, like, add... You know, like a few little bits down here. Break it up a bit. Where's our slabs? Here they are. And just add a few little touches along here. Just to, you know, make it not look as flat and boring. That sounds like something good we could do, right? make something not look as flat and boring. Alright, I think that looks good. Maybe actually we add a little bit right there. Beautiful. Okay, so now the fun part is making sure every single one of these blocks is spawn proof. And the way we're going to do that is just by uh, mostly doing slabs, I think, but we can mix in a few walls and maybe a couple stairs in here in some places that need it to be a bit more broken up. Too much of the same material never looks good. 
but if you uh, make it look good, then that's a that's some bonus points for you, I guess. Then I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I'm sorry. And what does it look like? Ooh, that's pretty nice. Now we gotta add the Japanese bit because if we can't, it won't look right for this build unless we add it. And actually, we're gonna sleep, run into our little starter house that doesn't have a lot of the a lot of the roof is not um, on any more fully oxidized copper. No, no. No more. Nope. No more fully oxidized copper yet. Let's see. So now we're gonna need to chop down one of these spruce trees. And we're gonna use the uh, spruce logs to make ourselves, I'd say, six fences. Sounds like it'll be enough. And then we'll also grab some of our copper. And by the way, I've added a recipe to where it should be like that, but I don't know what's wrong with it. I, sh I have added a recipe that's like this to where we can get some more copper because I need it. This was how it was in the first few snapshots with copper, but don't worry, I won't duplicate copper, I promise. I promise, cross my heart. And now we'll take the blocks of copper that we have, bring them over to our handy dandy stone cutter, and then this should be enough slabs, but we'll just make all that because copper cut copper slabs is the primary thing in this area. And I don't honestly, I don't mind about the. I might actually wax these. I could, but nah. We'll just let these. Oh, look, fully oxidized copper. Good thing we're in this area. See, oxidized cut copper slab. And we can put that right there. Well, anyway, I don't really, I don't really mind if we're not gonna be able to, um, for these, we'll probably fix them in, I don't know what I'm saying. Ooh, I missed a spot. That's why you always come back and, I've missed a lot of spots, apparently. Alright. Wait, I've, no, I haven't missed a lot of spots. Alright, <laughs> that, that's better. Now, this should, okay. Alright, there we go. So now, we're gonna get over here. We're gonna take our spruce fences, and we're gonna go up two, let's go up three on each side. And jump over here. One, two, three. Wait, that's two, right? No, that's three. Huh. Okay. I'll I'll figure it out later. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. Then we mine this back and do that. Right? That's how this would look if the roof wasn't broken. <laughs> because it's on the floor, on the ground, you know, and then we're going to go up here, and I think we go up here, and then we jump here, do this, and we'll have to go back and pick those up when we're done with that, and what does this look like? See? I can build Japanese! I didn't even have that in a creative test world. I just had this. I built this in a creative test world because I did, and I had to start the roof over several times. But now I've kind of mastered Japanese style building in Minecraft, or roofs anyway. So basically, you just start out one block higher than the middle on the sides. It's hard to explain. Then you do a full block, full block, then. Three slabs stacked, and that's pretty much how I build Japanese style stuff. Okay, so be basically, should we do another one for the sheep, or should we just have them all in the same one? And while I'm thinking about that, I'm gonna come back and fix all this. 
I don't have enough copper to do more than one, so we're just gonna do this one, okay? We'll put the sheep and the cows in the same one, and eventually we might make another one. That's a lot of ones in the same sentence. But, I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. That's my answer to a lot. I can't be bothered to go and find copper to make another one because copper never- Okay. Do yourself a favor, even with the data pack on the, that I made myself that you can use four copper to make a single copper block. Don't use copper in your starter house or anything. Don't use it as your starter pallet, okay? That's just a tip. Don't. It's not worth it. I've been working on the Amplified World for a while, trying to get a good amount of copper. It's, it's hard, I'm telling you. Okay, I think we got some bones, so we're gonna use some bones to make bone meal so we can get some more wheat to lure the um, animals in. But first, before I forget, we're going to add those fence gates, because it makes a nice little thing when you have the walls. I love how that works. Where's my bones? Here they are. I'll just grab a bit, just a bit of bone meal. You never know when we might need bone meal, but bones are also important, so we'll leave that. Oh, that's good. Another fully oxidized block of copper. I will always take that. And we'll add it on right here so we can replace that one. Oh, come on. And there we go. So now we'll go and bone meal up those crops of ours. Okay, that's enough bone meal to breed two sheep and two cows. So th that way we can get some babies and start expanding our herd. Now, oh, I almost took that out of the offhand. Never take the shield out of your offhand in, um, in hardcore unless you have a totem. Then always keep your totem in the uh, offhand. Let's go get- oh look! We could get a lot of cows. Look at all the cows we can get. That's uh, isn't that four cows? It's four cows. Nope. I want to get your friends over here. That's why I haven't killed these cows yet because I wanted them just for my uh, animal collection. That's what we'll call it, animal collection. Alright, come on friends. Oh. You're almost as annoying as villagers. But, why did I say that? Because villagers are more annoying than cows. So, about the future of this series, we're not getting diamonds in today's episodes. I'm very sorry, I've been, you know, I've been mining for copper, I mined copper on Y11, and I haven't found any diamonds after that, and then I realized that copper, you should mine it on 47. But, yeah, that's a different story. Anyways, I want to get diamonds next episode. I think that's a good goal. And also, we should definitely um, get fortune. Because I can't... I don't think I'm going to be building with much more copper. Unless we have fortune. Okay? These cows are going to trample over the crops. I hear... Oh, n never mind. I'll trample over all the crops. Oh, we lost one of our buddies. Come on, cows. Come on. Look, little moo cow. Come on. Look. Seriously. I don't want to leave you behind, but you better get coming. That sounded weird. You better get come. Ugh. I'm so southern. You better come on, okay? I hear a zombie too, and it's uh, kind of bothering me, is it? Is it a drowned? It's probably a drowned. Alright, come on. We're just gonna have to leave you unless you can get over here. Come on! Come on, you slow cow! Don't be a slow cow. Come on. Come on. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You just bob across because this is. Okay, good, good, good. Come on. Just in time because I don't want to be out here when it's night. All right, come on, cows. Yes, y'all are good cows. You'll probably w I, you'll probably end up being slaughtered after I get some more of you, but good cows. Yeah, good cows. Oop, oop, oop. I just realized that we need to have the wheat in the hand. All right, let's get these gates open. 
Yeah. You are such good cows. Thank you. Thank you for not being stubborn. Why did I say that? They were definitely being stubborn. Alright, we actually... I want to do a bit of lighting up this area. Because, uh... We don't have a wall built, so mobs could get in if we accidentally forget to sleep. Which I don't plan on doing. But just in case, I just want to be prepared. There we go. Cows, we need to put some stuff in there, but I'll do that off camera most likely. Okay, now time for the sheeps. The sheepy sheeps. The sheeps? 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 <laughs> I don't know anymore. Oh, there's another cow. You were too late. Sorry. Honestly, you'll probably be happier living out here. Okay, there's some... Uh, no, that's a chicken. Is it? No, it's a sheep. Okay. Look, there's another beehive. I'm telling you, one not 17 they made because bees... Be beefs, oh dear. Because bees are so much more useful this update. I, I really think they made them easier to spawn, or it might just be an amplified where they don't spawn as much. Okay, so we got a gray sheep and then three white sheep, it looks like. And any other cows that want to scraggle along with us. Or sheep. I don't mind. I can always have a few more sheep. Never mind the sheep. Oop. We're out of reach. Come back! Come back! Oh, me. <laughs> that was a bad pun. Come back! If I wasn't doing, like, the intro before the, uh, real, you know, Total Thomas Man logo intro thing that Andrew made us, you know, I, I would put totally put that pun at the beginning of the video. Alright, sheep. Y'all are faster than the cows, at least. Let's see, where are we? Okay. We're in the middle of a river with some sheep that should be uh, very um, shivering and trying to... Very wet sheep, but they don't look wet because this is Minecraft. Oh, well. Come on, now. Come on. Come on, Mr. Sheep. Yes. Come on, sheep. Or probably some of you are Mrs. too. Come on, sheep. Come on. You just walk through the sugar cane. Can you not pathfind through the sugar cane? Okay, good. You can pathfind through the sugar cane. It would be bad if you couldn't. Oh, yeah. That's right. I've been growing tall spruce trees because the little ones don't give me enough spruce. Spruce is the priority. Spruce and copper are probably the priorities right now for this world. <laughs> don't, don't die is probably another priority. Oh, I lost you. Come on, sheep. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> uh, another time we get to see the Godhead banner. Okay, hello cows. We're all gonna come on in here like nice friends. Y'all, the cows are gonna hang out with the sheep and I'm completely fine with that. Let's close all these gates and we've done it. Actually, I forgot. We're gonna get two sheep. We'll get a light gray sheep if that's still in the game anyway. And there we go. We got the parrots and the bats. It's not the... Yep. It's still in the game. So we got a light... Isn't it weird how Minecraft works? We get a light gray sheep from breeding a gray sheep and a white sheep. And I think it's like that with like orange where you, if you breed a red sheep and a yellow sheep that you die yourself, you get an orange sheep. It's weird how Minecraft works, but you know, it's not real life so I can't be about... And here's another fully oxidized copper block. Oh, it's so great, you guys. We're already getting some copper that's fully oxidized and ready to uh, turn into copper. I don't know what that was. And now we can just put another block down. Actually, we're missing. We could put another block down. But just one. Oh, wait. The way double slabs work. Huh. We'll go this one. Oh, you're kidding me! And now we can come into our animal field. Or animal pen. It's not a field, it's a pen. Where's our baby sheep? Oh, our baby sheep already grew up. Oh, that was fast. 
they grow up so fast, don't they? And there's some lily pads for a little bit of a pond, and I might come back in here and add a few more details. But as the sun's beginning to set, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, comment down below, just if you're enjoying this series. See y'all soon. Bye for now.